Hello everyone, welcome to the new video of the Mate in 2 series. So, before we go to the actual puzzle that is planned for this video, uh, we are going to look into this position. Here, black is heavy material ahead, uh, but it is white's turn to move. Also, and there are some threats towards the white player. As you can see, this um, queen is attacked by the bishop, and also black queen is threatening to come down either on a1 or d1 and deliver the checkmate. So you cannot parry these two threats with something simple, like if you would take the bishop, since it's undefended, Black could just give you the mate. So that's not good. Also, if you try to move your queen here, let's say, protecting the d1 square, on top of being down heavy material, uh, you could also just simply lose by queen a1, and when you protect, you're just gonna get mated. So, all of that doesn't work. We need to do something more forced. And <clears throat> is there something like that in this position? Yes, there is. There is this move, knight f5 check, forking the queen and the king. And if, for example, black takes this knight, then you could just give him mate. As you can see, the pawn is protecting the f7 square, the queen is taking the d7 and e7 and e8 squares, and also this rook helps because black doesn't have where to run. Even if he could run there, you could still mate him on d7. Okay, and what if black doesn't take that a knight with a bishop. Well, he could take this pawn, but then you can take the queen with a check, which is important because if it wouldn't be with a check, black could simply retake your queen. And when he retakes, you just take his bishop. Now you are up material, and also black has to think how to prevent mating threats. Well, this pawn is hanging. And actually there is a threat of mating with queen f5 check and queen f6. So, or, or maybe it would not be mate, but it would be devastating. So let's say he protect like this. And if nothing else, you can at least pick up some pawns. You can either win this pawn or better maybe this one so you have a passer. So, but anyway, I'll just show you the example. Let's say you go here. He goes there, and now you can attack. You can attack this guy. This guy, and when he defends it, you can take this one and continue with the attack, or just play it simple. Um, just a second. Oops, sorry. Just maybe after rook f8, you can maybe capture this guy and then have a passed pawn that can drag one of the rooks to the side and which will leave this guy unguarded. Okay, how about here if he goes back with the king? Yeah, he can go back but then you can give him this check. You don't take the bishop so, because you can get mated, but you give him this check, and when he moves, you just mate him. So, that was fairly simple. It, with this move, knight f5. And the reason why first I first showed you this is that the actual puzzle that inspired me to make this position is something like this. 
So this is the puzzle I was looking at. And here it's very simple to see that the mate follows with queen f7 check, king d7, king d8 and queen d7 check. And when you are familiar with this kind of mating method, then it's relatively simple for you to find this move because it is just an introduction to what happened in the position just shown before. But if you wouldn't be aware of the previous mating pattern, then this move might be a little bit harder to find. So that's why it's good to solve these simple, simple puzzles because they just give you a lot of patterns to look at and then in a more complicated position it will be much easier for you to find the right move just by recognizing something that you have seen before and how implementing that into the current position. That's all for this video. I hope you have enjoyed it and goodbye.